वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू क्लास इलेवन इंग्लिश क्लासेस कंडक्टेड बाय योर इंग्लिश टीचर मोनिका कौर बिफोर आई स्टार्ट स्नैप प्लीज आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड फॉर अदर नोटिफिकेशन प्लीज रिंग द बेल आइकन चैप्टर फाइव मदर्स डे पार्ट टू वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट टू क्लास इलेवन इंग्लिश क्लासेस पार्ट टू ऑफ स्नैप शॉर्ट बुक नंबर टू चैप्टर नंबर फाइव मदर्स डे रिटर्न बाय जे बी प्रिस्ले ऑलरेडी वी पीपल हैव डन डन इन पार्ट वन द टू पेजेस समरी सो लेट स्टूडेंट start the summary without wasting the time so let's recapitulate it as i started to the story where mrs pearson was actually very upset and telling uh, the reason of uh, her up upset okay and the reason was that what that her family members were totally ignoring her in spite of the work that she was doing for them day and night she was thinking about them but still she was not at all getting that part of the respect or regard as she uh, needed it from uh, from her husband from her children okay mrs fitzgerald was giving her advices from now long a uh, long long time but now she got to know it that mrs pearson would not going to help herself out why because she was a very simple lady and she uh, that uh, had had the practice of uh, of doing all those things from years and years and she was not ready to change herself okay but mrs fitzgerald was a very bold uh, that uh, and uh, very strong headed as well as very blunt kind of the lady so now Uh, she wanted that mrs pearson should not live like that and so she decided uh, that she was going to teach a lesson to her family members now but with means the way she was she was not able to to enter mrs pearson's house and directly means uh, say something to them so what she did as i told you in my previous video also that mrs fisgerd was a tarot card reader as well as what that she had learned a black magic magic also so there she told mrs pearson that she was going to use use on her mrs pearson firstly to initially she said what no that she did not want uh, that her family member to be Uh, to be suffered uh, because of her hair uh, because of her that uh, uh, that uh, behavior but suddenly because they both were sitting on a table and mrs fisgerd grabbed her hands and there there she started using few of the words words which were known as a magical words and those words were ashtata dam ashtata lam ashtata land dumbona so she was uttering those words and suddenly what these two ladies feel uh, uh, what these two ladies felt that that their bodies were the same but the their souls were now uh, different in mrs pearson's body now mrs fisgerd soul was there and now in mrs pearson's body and that uh, so in mrs fisgerd's body mrs pearson soul was there okay so like this like this means uh, the things were uh, were uh, happened there okay and then she means uh, really not very happy mrs pearson was not very happy the way mrs uh, fisgerd did it because she knew it very well that mrs uh, that uh, fisgerd was a very hard hearted type of the lady but now the things had been done and uh, mrs fisgerd as i told you was a very bold lady uh, she was in habit of drinking smoking and playing the cards also she was a modern type of the lady she was not at all an introvert she was a very very much extrovert type of the lady so uh, so she means took that uh, that uh, cigarette in her mouth from uh, that uh, her real body 
and then she went out to Mrs. Pearson's house. There she started doing all the things what she had already planned out and there then the first member of Mrs. Pearson came there and it was none other than her daughter and that was Doris Pearson. Okay. Now, as they had the habit of, as soon as they entered the house, they used to order their, uh, means that her mother, she did that. That she wanted a tea and she wanted her to iron her silk dr yellow dress because she had to go out with her boyfriend, Charlie Spence. But there was no reaction from the side of uh, uh, Mrs. Pearson. So she again means repeated her order. Suddenly what when she repeated her order, she saw that her mother had something very different. She saw a very big glass of beer in her hand and in her mouth a very big cigarette was there and she was puffing out the smoke. And there on the table, uh, the cards, playing cards were there and she was playing it all alone. Just in a casual way, not uh, for the concern. She asked that, what had happened? Because she had never watched or see her mother like that. So she asked that, what exactly had happened to her? Uh, that uh, if she was okay or not? Mrs. Pearson told her very clearly that yes, she was very well, okay, and she uh, was okay, but only just because she wanted a change, a change in the evening. So that's what she uh, she had been seeing it. So it was okay for Doris. She went away uh, to her room. Okay, after giving that order, whether she had whether her mother had responded uh, her or not, that was means not at all a big deal for her. But when she came out means uh, that uh, washing her face again she told that where uh, where uh, that uh, was her tea so then mrs pearson told that oh she had her tea and now if she wanted to then she had to make it herself and then she again doris again repeated that uh, iron of the yellow dress so she said no if she want to go out then she had to do it on her own she would not going to help her out in any way Okay, Doris was now really very much angry on Mrs. Pearson's behavior. So she started shouting on, on her that had she means uh, got something onto her head that she was talking to her like that. Suddenly Mrs. Uh, Pearson got so angry but in a very very cool and in a very very slang manner, in a taunt manner, she told her that that she had grown, grown up but she did not know how to talk to her mother. Although she had a boyfriend and she started insulting her boyfriend uh, also. That her boyfriend had a buck teeth and her boyfriend was a foolish boy. And she should uh, means had some other boy, uh, boy in her life or she must take up some other job. Okay, rather than, than uh, moving out with such type of the boy. Guys, here buck teeth means what? The teeth which are not in proper shape. They are, they are, I mean, few of the teeth are lower, few of the teeth are upper. Like the, the shape of the teeth uh, were not at all appropriate. Making the face, uh, uh, that uh, the way of the face really very, very bad. Okay, so, uh, that Doris didn't take that, all those things. She started crying and she ran away back to her, her room. By that time, uh, Cyril came. And suddenly when Cyril came, he was also surprised that means why her mother had been with that a glass of beer, uh, means that with the cigarette in her mouth and playing cards. Because they had never seen her mother like that. He also asked, uh, means that what happened? So only one word that was given by Mrs. Uh, that uh, Pearson was what? That she required a change and that's what. Okay. So then he also gave order, uh, rather he made her uh, this remembrance of her, her morning uh, promise that she already promised to him to uh, repair his uh, that uh, that uh, that uh, clothes okay help him to amend his uh, that clothes okay and he required his tea also okay but mrs pearson that 
So only Mrs. Pearson said this thing. If they want anything, they had to do on on their own. And she uh, was, <coughs> excuse me, she was uh, uh, that uh, <coughs> breaking her promise. As uh, they were only working eight hours a day, but she was working whole whole of the day. But they never provide or the, they never regard her with any gratitude. Okay. So she told him that from now onwards she was going to work only 40 hours a week that is that is 8 hours a day and 5 days a week like them only okay by after hearing this this Doris also came from from her room and now it was really a very very shock for both of them that that their mother had changed a lot but what had happened to her why she had changed okay but a plain answer was there that she required also her life to be entertained and she wanted a change as they required a change okay so she did not like to work after eight hours so that's why she was now plainly saying no to them as they used to say no whenever they did not feel working anywhere else okay but what about saturdays and sundays so she told them that she would going to help them as a uh, just like a helping hand but she was not going to do whole of the work because she was going out with her friends okay but this would not go means or digestible by cyril and doris they started waiting for her uh, for their father to come so that whole of the scenario of the house would change and their mother would got uh, got the same damn place according to them when when their father would going to uh, to get back home and suddenly when they were waiting for george pearson to come he came there and what he saw firstly that doris eyes was really very swelled and her eyes were filled with tears and he asked that why she was crying so she only plain answered that mrs pearson would be the right person to answer about that okay what he saw that cyril was in the kitchen making a tea or a milk and finding something to eat for himself only there he was also very much surprised after that that her her that uh, 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 that wife's behavior of having that cigarette in her mouth playing the cards and then having a very big beer beer glass in her hand okay uh, uh, he just casually asked that at this hour why she was doing at this hour okay then again the plain answer because she wanted it to do that's it and then uh, he told means after this he was not at all concerned okay after this as he told her that he was going to the club for playing poker and he did not have have tea for that day or for that evening after seeing that tea was not on the table he got so angry that he asked her that why she hadn't made the tea and then she told only this thing that because she did not mind to make it this made George more angry, angry on uh, that uh, Mrs. Uh, that Mrs. Pearson that that he told means uh, told in a very very uh, that uh, male egoistic and a very sound in that manner that she should have completed her work as a woman of the house. Okay, but then Mrs. Pearson, with cool but with a very sharp voice, told him that. Uh, he should not have he should not have told her all her responsibilities because it is the one who he who never pay off her, his responsibilities neither as a husband nor as a father he had only wasted his time spending most of his time uh, that in the clubs only with those club friends okay but she told him very clearly that even the club members would not uh, that uh, uh, respect him they used to make fun of him by calling him in the name uh, calling him with the names like pompey ompy and and uh, means uh, t telling each other that that he was 
too lazy because of his personality and the way he used to walk. Okay. Mr. George Pearson did not mind those words until unless, unless Cyril had gave him this, Cyril had given him this note, yes, what else Mrs. Pearson was telling him that was accurate, he was a subject of fun for the club members and Mrs. Pearson told him that it's because of his habit of frequently going there and not managing his family properly, that's why, okay. He was so hurted that he sat there and decided not to go uh, go back to the club. Okay. And that very time, fake Mrs. Fitzgerald entered their house. Seeing those pathetic faces of her family, she would not take all, all means, uh, means uh, that uh, forward that teachings of Mrs., fake Mrs. Pearson. So she requested Mrs. Pearson that to exchange their souls again in private, in privately. Mrs. Fitzgerald uh, means after requ uh, requesting that, uh, uh, that uh, fake Mrs. Pearson and fake Mrs. Pearson understanding her problem, she again, again means grabbed the hand of fake Mrs. Fitzgerald and told those words again. What was those words, guys? Those words, Arshtata Dham, Arshtata Lamb, Arshtata Lamb Dham Buna. Okay, after this, now these two ladies were again back to their original bodies. Mrs. Fitzgerald with Mrs. Fitzgerald's soul and Mrs. Pearson with Mrs. Pearson's soul. But Mrs. Fitzgerald told her very clearly that she should not, not means now um, uh, mess up all the things because she had tried hard to make them understand the value of her. Okay, firstly, she should not explain her behavior. Secondly, she should not apologize to them. Okay, and before she leave the house, the scene, what she uh, saw, what she I mean, uh, saw it, it provide her a lot of uh, immense of happiness, happiness for Mrs. Pearson. Whole of the family was sitting together uh, and uh, wife, uh, that as a wife she was enjoying, as a mother she was enjoying. They were all deciding to play Rummy because they all, for the very first time, they all were together. Not only this, children were agreed uh, with the proposal of uh, their mother that they would going to make or cook uh, the food of that night for, for all of them. Them. It was a real Mother's Day for Mrs. Pearson and it's because with the help of Mrs. Fisgirl, she happily moved out from Mrs. Pearson's house. So this was the uh, play, this was the ending play, okay? Students, now let's move on to the relatable vocabulary, okay? Now, the first word is bewildered, means confused. Mrs. Pearson's personality was bewildered. Mrs. Pearson wa had a bewildered personality. Or you may write like this, okay? Incisive, very sharp. Mrs. Fitzgerald had an incisive personality, okay? Then, sulkily, with ill humor. Mrs. Pearson sulkily called... Uh, uh, that Charlie Spence, a buck teeth and foolish boy. Okay. Guffa, a boisterous laugh. That uh, Mrs. Uh, that uh, Mrs. Pearson's humor was so so good that it made uh, Cyril and Doris to guffa on on her to guffa on her means they were actually laughing on uh, her behavior that was a short-lived behavior it was not moving uh, means that long because their father was going to come back and she had to play that part again that was a simple sober kind of the lady okay then the last word is aghast aghast means terrified mrs Fitzgerald's personality aghast everyone in Mrs. Pearson's house. Okay.
so students let's talk about uh, that plays theme the theme of the chapter is what guys now the theme is that that the women and housewives serve the members of her family with with devotion sincerity and love but they never pay off in the same way with that regard attention okay rather than in spite of or although we people enjoy their leniency and eagerness but we never ever uh, ever say thanks to them for their hardships for their sacrifices for our houses okay now let's talk about message message is really very clear in this in this play guys the message is what is the message students that mothers are not at all unpaid maids or servants of your houses they they should be appreciated for their efforts of doing hard work to keep the family going on and converting a house into a home okay we must regard their efforts and hardships and sacrifices i hope students you people have get on with this part of the video i will be coming soon with my next video by that time what you have to do yes you have to like share and subscribe my video as well as please ring the bell icon for the further notifications see you guys and please be healthy these are the three questions from the described paragraphs as assignment number 2